Good morning, my little rays of sunshine. First things first, did you get a chance to get your sillies out yet today? Now that we're done with that, before we get started on our daily book, I kind of wanted to give you a hint as to what we're reading about today. Hmm. This is a potato. It's actually a baby potato. It's very small. But this little sprout up here, do you see that? That little sprout at the very top of the potato is called the eye of the potato. And potatoes can have multiple eyes. Just like you have two eyes, potatoes can have one, two, or many eyes. See, here's one, here's two, there's even three right here. I don't know if you can see that super well. And let's see, and there's another one right here. So those are called the eyes of the potato. Now keep that in mind when we're reading our book today. Can you guess what our book's gonna be about? Hmm. Did you guess potatoes? Because you would be right. This one's called The Enormous Potato. If you would like, you can sit crisscross applesauce just like Miss Cronin. And if you're all comfy and ready to go, I guess we'll get started. This is The Enormous Potato, retold by Aubrey Davis and illustrated by Dusan Petrasik. The Enormous Potato. The Enormous Potato. What does enormous mean? Does that mean so tiny? Or does that mean really big? Hmm. Enormous means really big. So probably bigger than you can even stretch your arms. The Enormous Potato. The Enormous Potato. There once was a farmer who had an eye, but it wasn't like your eye or my eye. It was a potato eye. The farmer planted it and it grew into a potato. The potato grew bigger and bigger. It grew fat. It grew enormous. It was the biggest potato in the world. It's time to pull it out, said the farmer. So he grabbed the potato. He pulled and he pulled again, but the potato wouldn't come out of the ground. So he called his wife. Wife, yoo-hoo, wife. The wife grabbed the farmer. The farmer grabbed the potato. They pulled and they pulled again, but the potato wouldn't come out of the ground. So the wife called her daughter. Daughter! Oh, daughter! The daughter grabbed the wife. The wife grabbed the farmer. The farmer grabbed the potato. They pulled and they pulled again, but, but the potato wouldn't come out of the ground. So the daughter called the dog. Here, dog! Here, dog! The dog grabbed the daughter, the daughter grabbed the wife, the wife grabbed the farmer, the farmer grabbed the potato, and they pulled and they pulled again, but the potato wouldn't come out of the ground. So the dog called the cat. Come cat, come. Meow, meow, meow. The cat grabbed the dog, the dog grabbed the daughter, the daughter grabbed the wife, the wife grabbed the farmer, the farmer grabbed the potato, and they pulled and they pulled again. But the potato wouldn't come out of the ground. So the cat called the mouse. Help, mouse, help! Squeak, squeak, squeak! 
The mouse grabbed the cat. The cat grabbed the dog. The dog grabbed the daughter. The daughter grabbed the wife. The wife grabbed the farmer. And the farmer grabbed the potato. They pulled and pulled again. Goodness gracious, they are putting a lot of work into this potato. Rip! Out came the potato. That's a big potato, said the farmer. That's a big potato, said the wife. That's a dirty potato, said the daughter. So they washed it and chopped it and cooked it too. That is an enormous potato. That is definitely bigger than our arms spread as wide as we can go. The smell of potato brought the people from town. They brought forks, they brought bowls, they brought butter and salt. Soon everyone was eating potato. My, it was good. They ate and they ate. Till the potato was gone. And now the story is gone too. The end. If I ate a potato that big, I would be so full. Do you think they were full too? Now let's think. Can you remember the very first person who tried to pull out the potato? Who was that? Hmm. It was the farmer, huh? Now who was the second person that came to pull out the potato? The wife. Can you think of the third person? Hmm, was it the mouse? No. Was it the cat? I don't think so. I think it was the daughter. And then next came the... Did you say it? The dog. What came after the dog? Oh, the cat. Did you guess the cat? And then, last but not least, what came at the very end after the cat? Oh, the mouse! The teeny tiny mouse! Thank you for joining Miss Cronin for another day of reading. I hope you are all safe, happy, and healthy. And I will see you tomorrow with another book.